Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at printing an image in the print module. So I have the image selected here in the library module and the quickest way to get to the print module is to simply choose Command P on Mac or Control P on Windows. Now the first thing that I want to do is I want to set up the printer as well as the paper size and all of the printer driver options. To do this I'm going to choose Page Setup in the lower left. I'll make sure that I'm formatting it for the printer that I want to print to and the paper size. Then I'll go to my print settings, which on Windows I believe this is just one button where you have all of these options, and I'll set up the settings specific to my printer. Under layout, I'm going to select print settings, and depending on the printer that you're printing to, you're going to see different options because we're accessing the print driver right now, so this is no longer Lightroom. But I can use this to set up things like that I want it to be a manual feed because I'm using a very thick velvet fine art paper, and I want the print quality to be super fine. Once you set up all the options here, then you'll want to click Save. So now I know that I'm working with the right paper size and the right margins and everything for that printer. So in the layout style, you'll notice that I have the single image contact sheet layout style selected because I just want to print one image up. When I go to the layout area, I can do one of two things. I can either start working with the margins or I can start working with the cell size. And it really, it's up to you. It depends on how you want to lay out your image on the paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all of the margins or at least eliminate them as far as they can go because when the paper goes through the printer, there might need to be a little bit of a margin along the paper that's unprintable. It just depends again on your printer and your printer driver. Then I'll enter in the size of the cell that I want to print. So in this case, I actually want to print this at 12 by 18 inches. So I'll type in 18 for the height and 12 for the width. And that way I don't have to calculate any of the necessary margins that I'll need because I want this to print right in the center of the paper. Of course, if I wanted to, I could change the margins by dragging them up and then you can see how that changes the positioning of my print on the paper. Now I don't want to do that, so I'm going to use Command Z or Control Z to undo that. All right, we need to scroll down and look at the print job. I'm going to be printing this to a printer, but it's good to know that you could also print this to a JPEG file. I don't want draft mode printing because I want high quality. I'm going to make sure that print resolution is turned off. I actually want Lightroom and the printer driver to determine the print resolution. I don't want to try to override that. For print sharpening, it's important that you put in your media type, whether you're printing to a matte or glossy paper, and then you can dial in the amount you want, low, standard, or high. And of course, Lightroom is taking into consideration the original size of the file, as well as the size that you're printing it in case it has to sample up or sample down, and it's adjusting the sharpening behind the scenes to adapt for that. If you have the option, you can print in 16-bit, and for color management, you'll notice that I only have one color management profile listed here, but if I want to, I can go to the other option, and then I can check any additional profiles that I might need. And why do I need a profile? I need a profile to convert the image from the color space that it's in in Lightroom to the color space that is printable by the printer that I've selected. And these profiles differ based on the paper type that you select. So if I was using a different paper, for example, maybe I was using the 4800 with a canvas paper, then I could select that profile and when I click OK, it would appear in my list right here. But I just want the Velvet Fine Art Matte Black profile there. And now all I need to do is click Print. I don't need to click Printer because that will bring up all of my print settings again. I just need to tap Print. If I thought that I was going to use all of these settings again and again to print multiple images, then I would want to make sure that I save this as a template using my template browser. I could click the plus icon and then I could type in that this is my 12 by 18 inch print on my 17 by 22 inch paper and I'll save that in my user templates and click Create so that I can use it again. If I wanted to use this template with this specific set of images, then I could create a saved print. So there you go. It's just that easy to print your image from Lightroom. My name is Julianne Cost. Thanks for joining me.